Okay. Maybe Moose Lover here again, and uh, uh, last week I uh, made a video. Uh, I found a little tiny moth in my house on the wall, and found out it was a magpie moth, and uh, uh, it kind of disappeared. And uh, I was trying to film it to get into my uh, hibiscus plant, and I couldn't find it. So uh, a few days later, it came out on the wall again, and. Uh, and then in the living room, and then we ended it ended up in the bathroom on the wall, and uh, so uh, I wanted to videotape it again. So uh, anyway, uh, we decided uh, we get looking to see, you know, of course, uh, what butterflies eat, and uh, fruit was one of their, uh, you know, uh, main uh, food sources. So uh, just happened to have some apples here, so took an apple slice and. Uh, Actually, uh, took a while, but I actually got the moth to actually land on it. And you're seeing him here. He's uh, really enjoying the apple juice. My wife is holding him here. And uh, did a little inter interesting research on them. You know, it's kind of uh, strange to see a moth in the winter, uh, in the house even. And uh, so I uh, found an article where a woman, same thing, she found one on her screen door in the winter. and. You know, they were saying it wasn't really supposed to be there, and they didn't know whether uh, it, you know, said they might winter in an attic. Well, she didn't have an attic, and uh, I mean, I've got an attic, but uh, I don't think this moth came from there because there was no real way for him to get out of there into my house. Uh, but uh, you know, he, uh, I mean, they uh, winter in their uh, cocoons as caterpillars, so I mean, he. Uh, just uh, come out a little early probably and uh, was probably in the potted plant either down in a uh, curled up maybe in a cocoon inside of a leaf or something and then just hatched out and, and uh, you know, found him on the wall and then uh, so uh, anyway, I decided uh, he was in the bathroom on the wall I decided to uh, you know we found out what they eat and they you know eat fruit so uh, happened to have some apples I got a slice of apple and uh, after the wife had been feeding him there and holding the apple, and then I uh, got a container here, so he thrown throw a tamper, tantrum here because he I kind of moved him around and got him in this container, and then he uh, he can't seem to get any juice where he is there. And uh, this is wheezing the juice, and if anybody you know knows uh, that from a movie, that's from Encino Man with uh, Brendan Fraser and uh, Holly Shore. And they're uh, going into the store and uh, you know uh, holding their mouth over the the freezy machine. Whiz in the juice, and uh, it just came to me. Uh, anyway, uh, I was making this video, so uh, he uh, he gets kind of really mad there. He was really getting mad because he couldn't seem to get as much uh, juice. So I sped it up here because. I had some footage here, and I kept having to cut it down, cut it down, and, and uh, so I sped this up. This is like uh, 4x, and then we're going to go to 8x. This is like eight times, just for fun. But, you know, he, he's really going to town. I mean, he's not really going that fast, but uh, it's funny to watch. And uh, now we're back to normal speed, and uh, he's still excited because this is normal speed, and uh, he's. Uh, He's really, really uh, using his little straw there, and then he got a little mad at me because uh, I kind of moved him over there for some reason. I can't remember why. I think I, I kind of wanted to just, I just meant to move him a little bit over in the middle so he'd get more juice, and then he he went off to the side, and then he got real mad, and now he's back on it again, so he's, uh, he's happy again, and then he, he really gets going here. You look at his feelers. He's he's just uh, I don't know uh, they've used them for smell or what or but he's uh, maybe used for balance. But he's he's got his little straw going, just sucking the juice. But he's uh, his feelers. I don't know if it's because he's just excited or. And then here you'll see him. He's just really sucking on the straw. He's just like. Uh, uh, he's probably thinking, why don't you just give me some apple juice? It'd be easier. Yeah, it's quite fascinating. You know, just uh, 
especially you see one in the winter, and they're such a beautiful little moth. And they're not really from this country, they're from Eurasia, I looked it up, and, and uh, they come to Nova Scotia, I don't know, they would come in on imports, I suppose. You know, different fruit from different things from those countries, so. Another uh, interesting thing is that when he would sleep, uh, or she would sleep, uh, they uh, laid their feelers right down their back, you know, right straight down their back. It's kind of interesting. So, anyway, uh, you know, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Later.